today's video is going to be a recent Pinduoduo haul. I have really been buying too many things from Pinduoduo. The Pinduoduo hauls are coming. <laughs> I am also intending to do a Pinduoduo slash Taobao Q&A video. So if you do have any questions, let me know. Extremely cute handheld mirror. I thought they were bigger, but when I received it, I was like, oh, it's so mini. Here is a comparison. When you film up close or when you film a tutorial, sometimes the mirror gets too big and it sort of like blocks the camera. So if you use a smaller one, you can put it very, very close to your face and you can draw, for example, your eyeliner and it will not block the camera. You can also bring these out. These are really, really tiny. They can fit right into your pocket or fit right into your bag. This one has a handle. It is a little bit more fancy, a little bit more fun, I guess cushion from the brand Go Go Tails, one of my favorite Chinese makeup brands, the shade 601. The weird thing about this or the interesting thing about this is that it is a cushion with a powder. It is a pure white powder so you can use this to either set or highlight. First impressions, I would say this cushion is pretty enjoyable. It gives a satin finish but more towards the dewy side so if you have dry skin like me, it might be your next friend. Two brushes from the brand Fozo. I am extremely into duo fiber brushes and I just decided to go ahead and try out all the duo fiber brushes that they have in their shop especially the one with this purple handle. Also also has an official shop on Pinduoduo so that was where I got these brushes. Bought this because I thought the shape was extremely interesting and also because it is apparently a blush brush. A blush <laughs> brush? After getting it and using it, I feel like it's a little bit too big and also how should you exactly apply it? Should you pat it down or should you swipe it like that? If you swipe it like that, even if you do it lightly, you still might interfere with your concealer underneath, right? So that's that's not really a nice way. I haven't figured out what is the ideal way to use this. Maybe I should ask them. This is not a brush I recommend because it is a little bit too wide for my liking. Look, if I want to put it here, it's a little bit too big. Fan shaped highlighting brush. <sighs> this brush is quite a pity because I feel like this thing here is too wide. It would be better if the brush is like, like that extra angle over here actually decreases your accuracy when you apply highlighter. I would like if it was a little bit thinner. Two boxes of lashes. This one's the one that I have on today. You can't really tell because I have too much eyeliner on. It has a black band. This one is also extremely everyday but it is less everyday than this one but this one has a transparent band so you do have to use a black lash glue. Use this in my 3CE autofocus shots. You can go have a look if you want to see how these lashes wear. It is a little bit longer and it has a little bit more volume than this. Between these two I definitely would recommend this. Highlighter slash blush from the brand CC shade 03. It is actually a uh, blush highlight duo. This one is the kind of shape where it will help to create fullness. I thought this one could be a blush shade but when I got it and when I tried it out, uh, nope. this highlight has a slight gold base with gold and pink micro glitter. It is what I am wearing on my brow bone today. It's more of an everyday highlight. I've always wanted to know how it feels like to have thick hair and these extensions kind of made it come true for me. These are actually clip on extensions. Okay so right up to maybe like this whole part is my real hair. The extensions I clip it on from here. So there is one here right now and the other one's here. The extensions that I bought are 60 cm extensions. After I clip it on, it comes down to a little bit above my belly button. The extensions have a little bit of curl to them so before you clip it on, you do have to quickly just curl your hair a little bit. And then what I do after I curl my hair is that I take a brush and I comb my real head in with the extensions so that it blends in with each other and it looks like all the hair is mine. The extensions actually have two clips over here where you can just clip it on like that. This hat, oh god this is such a bad idea. Ah. It is adjustable so that the wind will not blow your hat off which is nice. There's also a button here so you can button it up. If you do not want that, you can just wear it like that and it is this very very cute hat crop tank top that I am currently wearing. I got two, one in this cream shade and one in this black shade. The thing I really like about it is that you do not need to wear a bra when you wear this because they actually have a bra inside here. See? 
and the inner part over here is actually a little bit stretchable so that it can fit onto your body nicely so that this inner bra layer will not be flying around and because the top and the bottom parts are separate it makes it easy for you to iron the front as well black heart shaped necklace i actually bought this but then i lost it so I bought it again because I loved it too much. So this is actually the second one. Blue necklace which has more of a Y2K vibe which I am extremely into. It has a blue flower and some butterflies. I also bought these earrings but I'm not wearing them today. It is this reflective beads kind of thing. I also bought this double layered fake pearl necklace which I can't find at the moment. So you'll have to make do with a picture. I bought two of these 64 gig memory cards. They are SD cards. One is right here, one is currently in my camera in use right now as we speak. It's extremely cute. Mark is also one of my buys. I can't tell if this is a chicken or if this is a duck so let me know down in the comments. Mini external hard drive. It claims to be 1 TB but in actual fact when I used it, it could only store a little over 960 gig of data. I'm happy with it. I just needed a place to store all my footage because there's too many. Extremely fancy gold fork. <laughs> it has a little bit of weight to it. It makes you feel really fancy using it. I extremely love this fork. <laughs> it's the only fork I have been using recently and I love it. This phone tripod to film my shots. It's extremely convenient. You can film both horizontally and vertically. You can move this thing to adjust the angle. It has a remote control here as well. I also really like the stand because it is more sturdy as compared to the past phone tripods I used. Thank you for watching as usual. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, do let me know down in the comments. I'll try my best to get back to you and I will see you in my next video as usual. Bye!